All right. I'm watching the Atlantis Report. The video is actually irrelevant to what I want to talk about. <laughs> or is it? I don't fucking care anymore. Okay. Uh, some things I'm doing. I understand how money works. I understand how it goes around. I understand the pathology, the history of it. I understand a bunch of stuff in it. All that knowledge right now doesn't mean jack shit in this situation. Poof. That knowledge doesn't mean shit right now. Why? <laughs> because it's another depression that's happening right now. So... As opposed to having a bank bail-in, as opposed to doing that, I've, you know, gone ahead and said, okay, with that stimulus, that fucking helicopter drop they're putting out, yeah, okay, <clears throat> I'll take that, I'll go and pay off bills, get some food, and what have I got left after that? Add a few dollars left. So I said, okay, you know what? I have an account with Charles Schwab, so here's what I'll do. As opposed to this, this bail-in thing, I'll take, you know, a couple of dollars here, I'll shift it over into the brokerage account. <clears throat> now go over here into the account and I'll say Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. today's losers are tomorrow's boomers. So who's losing big today? Ah, oil. Exactly. WTI down to two dollars a share. You know what? Fuck it. I've got an, uh, I've got six dollars left after paying bills and getting groceries. Six dollars is enough to get two shares, because it was two dollars thirty, forty, or fifty some odd cents. All right, two shares of WTI, West Texas International, as opposed to waiting for the Fed to say, "All right, time for a bail-in." I'll go ahead and. Throw some money in, into the market. Throw some liquidity in there. I know, I know. Just yeah, just hold, hold your, hold your shit, okay? I know this will only delay the inevitable. I know that. Hold your fucking shit, okay? Gold and silver with Mike Maloney, the Atlanta Report. Hold your fucking shit. I know what the fuck I'm doing. At best, this will only delay the inevitable. If everybody goes and pitches in a few, it'll literally, you'll be buying yourself time. You will literally be buying. Um, currently, uh, this, this logarithmic function of uh, collapse over time, currently, you'll only be able to buy at most one year of time if a lot more people a few hundred thousand go and throw some money into the market and make it liquid now I say that but I'm probably using liquidity out of context See, money came from the government to me from the the helicopter drop, their stimulus, that that's liquidity. I took that, plugged it back into the market. Fuck off train! That that's going back in the cycle. That's putting it it's not a circle, it's a spiral. It's all circling the drain right now. So, you know, essentially I'm throwing a glob of hair and, and 
shit down into the drain to clog it up. But it's only going to work for so long. I know what I'm doing. And it's nothing more than buying time. The problem here is that it has to be done in mass. You know, me talking about, oh yeah, two shares for two dollars each on WTI, uh, oil industry, yeah, that's nothing. That's a grain of fucking sand compared to Mount Everest. That's nothing. If a few hundred thousand people do that, that will buy everyone time to prepare for the inevitable. And that's what you want to do right now. Buy a few more months worth of time for everyone to prepare. And everyone. A lot of you claim you're grown ass fucking men and women. You should already know. You should already know what the fuck to do. Okay? I'm not your fucking mommy or your daddy. I'm not your fucking friend or your neighbor. My job is to make the effort to take care of me. Fuck you. You're the one who's supposed to take care of you. Okay? We're going back to basics, motherfuckers. No more feminazi zig heils, okay? Fuck off. No more one person dictates every fucking thing all the fucking time. Fuck off. Oh yeah. YouTube, you're, you're gonna see your crash. The inevitable is World War III. Just no other way to say that. It's inevitable. It is going to happen. I'm not looking at one particular thing, such as finances, like uh, Atlantis Report is doing. They're looking at one particular thing. They're zoomed into a microscope over here. Me, not so much. <clears throat> I'm looking at... Uh, social infrastructure, I'm looking at financial infrastructure, I'm looking at economic infrastructure, I'm looking at uh, political infrastructure, I'm looking at all these little things and how they interact and where one interacts with the other and how the ripples going out from this one affect every one of them, how they echo that one over here, how this one's affecting Trump's tweet for instance, about the oil tankers, um, how he's given the order to shoot down, shoot down boats, uh, gunboats from Saudi Arabia. Well, that's because there are thousands of oil tankers sitting there in the fucking ocean with people's fucking purchased, well, I say purchased, but when the company pumping it out of the ground pays you to take it, they're selling it as a, at a negative rate, which means they're paying you to take it. Let's call it what the fuck it is. Enough of this fucking ass backwards bullshit. Fuck it. They're paying people to take fucking barrels of oil. It went as far as they'll pay me $40 if I went and said, okay, I'll take some oil off your hands. Hypothetical. I didn't buy any fucking oil. I don't have any place to put it. And I most certainly am not going to let it sit out in the middle of the fucking ocean for some Somalian pirates, wannabes, or Saudi Arabians who are pissed off at America for being a bitch nation, or for Russians who are like, you know, fuck you. We do what the fuck we want. This is Russia, bitch. Fuck you. To go off and take it off the fucking oil tanker. Oh, fuck no. That's dumb. Unless I have a fucking underground bunker to set it in. Until it's, it's, you know, society is, you know, back up and on its feet from this shit. It's just pointless to leave it sitting there in the middle of the fucking ocean. I mean, isn't that how uh, Shell had a fucking oil spill some years ago? 
you're compounding one financial problem with the economic problem. Oil is a financial and economic thing. It, it sits in both those circles. You're combining that with a, a geopolitical problem of uh, Saudi Arabia was like, okay, we're, we're going to flood the market and send you a bunch of oil tankers. Fuck you. We're, we're going we're gonna to fight you with oil. You, you've compounded that one. All those problems, the, the, the cyclical on top of each other with the environmental hazard of what the fuck happens if somebody harpoons one of those damn things and they start leaking? So now you have the potential for an environmental problem that could devastate fishing industries for fucking decades. I'm not looking at this through a fucking microscope. I'm not that stupid. I am vastly superior in intellect to a lot of fucking idiots out there. And gold and silver with Mike Maloney or the, the Atlantis report. You guys, you've got this microscope YouTube channel where you do one fucking thing. That's dumb. If, if you're giving people advice, you know, <laughs> diversify your stock portfolio bullshit, where the fuck is your diversity on YouTube to reflect your knowledge base? It wasn't there. So why the fuck should I listen to what you say when I have a more diversified knowledge base and I've put out videos on my own personal channels, most of which have been deleted by YouTube because YouTube is a bitch company now and they don't like the truth. I've got more diversified video portfolio then your stock portfolios are diversified. Trust me on that one. And if you want to sit here and compare dick sizes in that regard, let's fucking do it. So that's just a fun fuck you, isn't it? Anyway. Who else wants to go and buy the world at most, at the absolute maximum, one year of time to prepare for the inevitable. Who wants to go out and do that? Because uh, one little old me sitting here doing it by me onesie ain't gonna do fuck all. My, my suggestion is don't buy what I bought on the stock market. Go find something that's low. Put a few dollars into it. And it'll, it'll, it'll bounce. But it'll be like the, the rubber ball. Each bounce, it'll have less and less momentum. It'll go up half as much each time. But it'll delay the inevitable. Long enough for you to start your fucking gardens and get them going. Oops. <laughs> I told you what the fuck to do when I'm not your fucking family. I tried to start a garden. Jackass literally got off his lawnmower, removed the fucking boundary marks from it, and then ran it the fuck over. So, hey. Hey. There's one person who I want to say, fuck you to, because you suggested that I go and plant a garden. Yeah, they intentionally ran it the fuck over. So why don't you use your fucking magic to get me the fuck out of this bitch situation, you little fuck boy. You're not my friend anymore. Dare I say it, you never fucking were. All you are is a fucking obstacle in my path. I'm gonna die like the rest? Fuck you. Bitch, please. I will skull rape you and your family. I promise you that. You earned that one. Fuck you. Wanna be pussy ass American fuck? Oh yeah, I hope this information actually does help the rest of the world delay the inevitable. Just a fuck with the little bitch who thinks he's all that.
Yeah, fuck you, Satan. There's a reason I'm called God. Now suck my royal fucking godlike dick.